So, Windows 10. The yeah, started recording. Okay, so it is Windows 10. So, in our different type of operating systems, like a Windows operating system, desktop, server operating systems, Linux, Unix, operating system, Mac operating system kind of stuff. So Windows operating system is a more popular operating system in a both desktop and server. OK, so why? Because of there is a basic reasons are there. All other operating systems like a Linux and all not compatible with a lot of application management. OK, uh, next. Next, in a Windows operating system, basically GUI based, graphical user interface based. As a compared to Linux and Unix, is a user for servers and it is open source and as well as it's a basically CLI based management. People like a normal people are not much aware of computer management, computer programming, commands and all. They don't know. So they, if I said, like I, I told to my father, check, uh, you know, yesterday <laughs> class what I told. So check it how many people are joined. So look at here, uh, please see how many zeros are there. OK, minimize, maximize, close, open, open particular window. OK, so here it is. Uh, guys, I, I think already I told about this power set uh, animated videos. I forward one or two videos, right? So compulsory go through about a hardware networking related doubts like you find out what is NAT, what is PAT, uh, what is private IP addresses. Uh, one more is there that is a what is modem kind of stuff or that is a forward. Um, yeah, storages, SAN NAS differences, DAS SAN NAS differences. Okay, NAS differences are there. So storage differences. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, storage thing, ride concepts like a animated device. It is very good. Boot processing is also available. Boot processing, bio setup is also there. So try it. OK, in this one. So not required guys, no need to sit for a so some so, sir will come and take the class, then only we will learn. So not like that. You keep practicing communication skills and give one hour, half an hour, one hour time. What are I'm teaching? So go through that one first and any any additional things you can easily check it all these things. OK. So we'll be back again. Here. Yeah. Okay. So why on Windows operating system is more popular because it's a GUI based so graphical user interface. It is very easy for users to manage the operating system, installing applications run the applications and um, remaining maintenance. OK, so that's why it is more popular operating system. Uh, last time we uh, when we are discussed when I am discussed with a one batch with the Windows 10. So one guy told about a, a circulated a YouTube video it means uh, some social media video that is. Uh, Microsoft don't mind a individual user is using a Windows operating system without paying amount like a cracked versions because the people are habituated to Windows 10. So then there are always demand for a Windows sorry Windows operating system. So. They always demand like a in a Windows servers Windows uh, operating system in the work location also because already you know that one. But thing is not completely true. Maybe may not be, but not completely true as I know why because of Bill Gates is a much visionary than anyone. Second, the lot of operating systems are there, but most of the operating systems are dedicated for server purpose, not for a desktop purpose. The compatibility between a Windows application, Windows based application to uh, other operating systems like a Ubuntu desktops is completely different. OK, still you want to reduce the cost on your laptop or desktop, you can use Ubuntu. But how many people know much efficiently they can manage? Easily they can manage that uh, uh, applications running or a process in the Ubuntu. 
even though it little GUI is there, little GUI is there, but still not happily they are not used. Okay. Windows operating system, a layman can be used. Okay, you can easily run a games. You can run it like browser is very easy to work. So no need to type any command to work with the Windows operating system. So basically. Okay. So that's a user management easy. It is a user friendly operating system. User friendly operating system. And another rumor means there is a thought is about a Windows operating system and Linux and Unix operating system. People tell Linux is a very secure one, sir, because it's a CLI. Windows is a not at all secure. Uh, anyone can able to hack. Guys, very simple. iPhones are difficult to hack. Hackable, but difficult to hack compared to Android. Why? Because of lot of people know Android application operating systems and there's a lot of Android applications without having any permission. Distributed applications are there means third party applications different resources you can download and install and apple is not like that compulsory you have to download it from apple store only so no other choices so they're secure like that one one of the thing so android is a most popular operating system mainly large populated areas prefer android okay large popular things preferred android not Apple, right? So I don't prefer Apple mobile phone because it's a very costly. Security is a different thing, but what I want, I need a more storage. More storage is that is very important for me. Okay, so Apple is a very less storage unit. So that's the point here. Okay, so like that. So more popular, automatically people are very interested to try to attack on it. Next, a lot of viruses are created. Windows is a kind of behavior. Uh, exude the files very simple. Okay, installations of uh, things or execution of files are very easy. So that's why Windows is a uh, easy to um, attract this virus kind of stuff. But but whereas Linux and Unix, if you don't, if you forget the admin password like a root password, you can easily reset it. If you have a physical access of Linux and Unix. You can easily reset the admin password. That means root password you can able to reset it. In, in Windows, you cannot reset like that. Guys, there is a differences are there. It does not mean one is good, does not mean another is bad. Okay. Always properly think, guys. If I said a person is very good person, means that the other person is very bad person. Not like that. Nah? So if I said uh, yeah, this batch is regular batch does not mean other batch is uh, completely regular. Of course, it has happened like that only, but still it is uh, regular people, non regular people is like that. Right. So always think what are the features of that particular operating system and what is the use for the our purposes? So we'll see it is in a Windows. We have a start screen. This is a start screen start menu style. It is in a both normal uh, start menu part as well as you can see there is a icons kind of stuff. You can that is called a tiles. You can able to see it. So if what are the important applications? You can put that one or a shortcut wise. You can put it there and also you can put it on this uh, taskbar. Also you can put these things. I required a magnifiers. I required a teams. I maybe I required a. a, a Workstation paint brush frequently, so I'm using that kind of stuff. This is a start menu style, and also we can go through this applications by like this. You can able to open. Okay. So settings button, power, and a user. Okay. Next is a cloud integration. It is cloud integration, is guys. If you have a data and you want to put it your data into cloud so then you can store in the one drive means for example you want to if you store a data in a one drive you can access the data from anywhere so you need a microsoft mail account but for example you store a data into your one drive if you want to access that one drive data from your mobile phone you can access it Okay, you want to access the data from your tablet, you can access it. 
you store a uh, data into your OneDrive in your uh, home. OK, so once it is synchronized into the OneDrive cloud storage, uh, you, you can access the same data from uh, other places. You left the, your laptop in home, you came to office. Now you require the document which is in the OneDrive so you can access from it. The cloud integration is become better in the Windows 10. So recovery tools are there. Reset, advanced startup, repairing tools also there. So what is this reset uh, option is? OK, so you your system got a problem. So your operating system got some issues are there. So you have to reset the operating system. You have to uh, reset the operating system. So when you are resetting, it will ask two questions. One is, uh, do you want to keep the uh, files or you want to remove everything? Only thing. So what will happen in a reset? It will remove your operating system, reload the operating system again. It means it remove the OS, reload the OS, it remove the applications and data. So for data, you have to give the option like uh, you want to keep the data or you want to remove the data also, you can remove it. OK, so that is a reset option. And in advanced startup options, you got a startup repair problem get there. like you started your laptop and it taking time or it is unable to load properly, but you finally got into the system, then go to advanced startup, go to startup repair. And repair options also will get it from the advanced startup window. So you want to go to bio settings, you want to go to some recovery options like a system restoration options, system image recovery options, so you can go to advanced startup. One, two, three. Fourth one, Hyper-V. Hyper-V is a feature or a role within your Windows 10 or Windows 8 Pro and Enterprise editions, not in a home editions. For example, I have a laptop with a Windows 10 home edition. Home edition don't have Hyper-V feature. I cannot download it separately. I can't purchase it separately. Hyper-V comes with your operating system. Either your Windows 8 or Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise. Create and run VM, run multiple guest OS in a single physical machine. OK, so we can run a virtual machines in the Hyper-V. We can run the virtual machines in the Hyper-V. We can create, run the virtual machines in Hyper-V. What is the use of this virtual machine? We can run any guest operating system within the virtual machines. So you, mine is a Windows operating system, Windows 10 operating system. I want to run Linux OS. So what I have to do? Create a virtual machine, install a Linux operating system in it, and you can use it. Very simple without formatting your main OS. Action Center. In this action center, you will find a lot of things like a notification kind of stuff. OK, so here you can also control your system like you want to convert your system into tablet mode or you want to connect a disconnected network, airplane mode, settings, alarms, silent the alarms, locations, OK, uh, Bluetooth wise connecting, projector connecting uh, uh, through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi type. OK, mobile hotspot is a one of the future in our Windows 10. Like what is the mobile hotspot? Your mobile is connected to 4G network. You want to share the Internet to other mobile, so you will go will share through mobile hotspot, right? You are receiving from 4G network and you are sharing the Internet through Wi-Fi. So that is your become your system, your mobile become Wi-Fi hotspot, right? Same thing. You connect the internet to your laptop through wired connection. Now you want to share the internet from your laptop to other wireless devices. You want to share the internet from your laptop to other devices. For to do that one, mobile hotspot. Okay, so, uh, sleep like uh, sleep. Uh, a mod is there, uh, screen snippet, Windows Ink features also there. Tablet mode, we can convert your Windows operating system 
like a, nowadays two in one uh, laptops are there now we can attach detach the screen so that is like in that cases you can use the system as a laptop and as well as a tablet so in that thing so it is a tablet mode is very useful cortana is a cortana is a voice assistant like a google assistant siri is there no so similarly it is a cortana so we can give commands you can search for something you can give um, um you can search in a web or you can we want to open application you want to shut down restart the computer you can use cortana windows hello feature is there hello is for a, a managing password kind of stuff normally you can log into system with the password or a pin password fingerprints sign in uh, with a face picture passwords are there so here in this one windows hello feature is a directly is belongs to windows hello pin hello fingerprint face kind of stuff okay there and uh, another hand it is active hours these are the windows 10 features guys windows 10 editions are there windows 10 editions are there home edition pro edition enterprise edition what is uh, windows 10 home edition uh, it's about um, one second so still uh, power is not back since morning okay so we'll continue now well just uh, i need a uh, 15 20 minutes and we'll disconnect okay uh, windows 10 uh, editions are there home edition pro edition enterprise windows 10 home edition is for a any person any person nowadays we are purchasing a laptop it comes with a windows 10 home edition professional only uh, certain features are extra in a professionals like a windows 10 home don't have hyper v feature uh, group policy local group policy features want to be there uh, bit locker technology is not there in a windows 10 home windows 10 pro having these features and enterprise having a one or two features extra but you want a windows 10 enterprise it is only available in a organization wise means you windows 10 you can get it from companies organizations they use enterprises the enterprises use enterprise editions home and pro used by any individual persons and on the other hand windows 10 mobile is there it was there because it is discontinued you have to use was because currently not available new edition is coming so okay man not we have to see. Windows 10 Education is like a WAS type only. W A S S A A S. Windows as a service type. Windows 10 Education. So if you are uh, uh, studying in any college, universities, and your age is must be more than 13 years to use Windows 10 Education Edition. So your principal or a partner with a Microsoft, they will share the. they will purchase licenses and they will give you the license key for windows 10 education mainly education purpose windows 10 iot so it's like a for iot purpose if you have a raspberry pi kind of stuff so you can install windows 10 iot operating system inside uh, for iot purpose like uh, there is a edition called core enterprise mobile guys out of all three important windows 10 editions home pro and enterprise These are the minimum requirement to use a Windows 10. Minimum system requirement is one gigahertz processor, one GB RAM for 32 bit OS, and two GB RAM for 64 bit OS. Our system and hard disk is 16 GB for 32 bit OS, 20 GB for 64 bit OS. Okay, so these are the main important and uh, graphics. Very normal graphics also works. Okay, you can upgrade. to windows 10 if you are purchase a genuine windows 7 or windows 8 8.1 8.2 8.3 8.4 8.5 8.6 8.7 8.8 8.9 8.10 8.11 8.12 8.13 8.14 8.15 8.16 8.17 8.18 8.19 8
you can easily upgrade to Windows 10. Check hardware compatibilities. Before you are going to upgrade or changing the system. OK, check the RAM processor free disk space is required if you are upgrading. OK. This is about upgrading migrating. This is about activation. OK. Guys, we are already know how to check the system configuration, so no problem here. What is this activation? Because I told about editions, I will tell about activations also. You go and purchase a, a laptop. It came with the operating system. So that type of activation is OEM. That is a OS is OEM type. Means a original equipment manufacturer. It meaning is the OS is installed in your, your laptop by the manufacturer. OK, and uh, the license key is uh, directly it is in your motherboard, laptop motherboard chip. OK, so in like in a BIOS. So when you are want to go to new computer or a new hardware, you can't get this license. So as long as you are using the device, you have that license. But when you want to move out from that are changing the hardware or you are moving to new system your license won't come okay anyway you are not getting any license personally because it is already licensed version is installed oem type next what is retail you purchase the operating system from the store or you purchase os from uh, microsoft uh, directly okay through website or uh, directly you purchase a cd kind of stuff on that one so there is a license keys there so whenever you install OS you have to enter the license key so then you'll get activated you'll get a activated activated editions are safe and as well as the features will be unlocked from the uh, locked uh, um, pieces non-active pieces again guys what is the retail you purchase a you purchase the operating system separately from the store or online so you'll get a license key. OK, you insert a license key in your system, then you will get a activated. For example, you change the hardware and the license is compromised. Then after what to do? You change the hardware, so you have to reactivate it again. Or you remove your old operating system, sorry, old system. Your old system is not working. You, you purchase a new desktop, laptop kind of stuff. What you do? You can install this operating system there and uh, put a that license key so reactivation is possible oem reactivation is automatical either you have to use same device that's it retail if you move for uh, one device to another device no problem volume licensing as i said enterprise editions are uh, licensed by volume licensing means in a, a companies you have a 10 20 computers are there so all computers are uh, running all, all uh, there is a 10 20 computers are there they need a licensing what to do the company uh, has a bundle license bundle is there so through volume licensing software or a service so they will provide a license to users like a kms key management system of uh, vl uh, microsoft My volume licensing services license the product through network you guys so this is a basic introduction of your windows 10 okay boot processing is there uh, and as well as certain features i discussed in this windows 10 i think except blue uh, blue screen of death is also there okay so go through this one also and uh, bit locker is not covered here bit locker i will cover later so since still no power is there i have to turn off all things by battery because also that is also our okay okay guys up to now i will forward this pp 